entertainmentbuddha.com Hey now everyone, Matt Haywood here from entertainmentbuddha.com and Haywood Pop on Instagram. How's it going? Hopefully it's going funky! It's time to unbox the latest Star Wars Smuggler's Bounty Box, which finally showed up here at Entertainment Buddha HQ. There he goes. Woo! It's here. I always get mine late, so it's already spoiled. I know the two pops are going to be in here, but we're still going to go ahead and get this unboxing underway because they're pretty fantastic pops. And it's Star Wars box. Star Wars boxes are always good boxes, right? Am I right? All right, so let's get down to it. So I really, I don't know the other items in here, so there's going to be some excitement if they're awesome. If they're stupid, I'll tell you, you know. I mean, I'm honest with you. That's how we roll. So let's go ahead and open this bad boy up. Got the camo knife. Schwango. All right. Get through the patch and the pin routine as we always do first. The pin this time around is a battle droid. Roger, roger. Roger, roger. Okay, and then we have, oh by the way, the theme's droids, just in case you're wondering why, why is there a battle droid pin? You know, there are battle droids, they're kind of stupid. Well, it's a droid box, that's why. And that's why we have a golden rod patch. That's right, people, there he is, C-3PO, who is fluent in, was it six million or six billion forms of communication? So we got that stuff out of the way. Now let's go ahead and get into a Z box. Oh, no cheat sheet this time around. You gotta dig that. But we do have a shirt. And it is Funko Popified. And it's black, so that means I'll get it one use out of it before it turns into a lint collection device, thanks to my cat. Love my cat. Hate his fur. Can't shape cats, so. Alright, so here is the shirt. How about we get the box out of the way? Hey, box. Excuse me. <laughs> Excuse me, box. There we go. So look, it's recreating the scene from the end of The Force Awakens where the two droids, BB-8 and R2-D2, form together like Voltron and shoot the map to Luke over on Acto. So, nice shirt. But like I said, I'm getting. let's get some white shirts, blue shirts, red, different colors, stuff where cat hair doesn't stand out so much, Funko. Please. Please. All right, so, looks like... It's just the shirt and two pops, which you'll never hear me complain about getting two pops. So let's get down to it. The first one we got is everyone's favorite homeboy, R5D4. Okay. Remember this is the droid that blew up on the Jawas after they sold them to Uncle Owen and Aunt Beru. And Luke's like, hey man, this one's got a bad power converter. Oh, this one's got a bad motivator. And then... Uncle Owen's like, all right, well, give us that one after C-3PO gave R2 a glowing recommendation. And the rest was history. So R5 is out of the box. And now we just got to put the box back together because we love boxes. Although I've started getting rid of pop boxes, people. I know, I know. Sorry to scare some of you. But when you have over 700 of these things, it just becomes ridiculous to try to save all the boxes. But I am saving Star Wars, and I am saving exclusives, so this box will be saved. Alright, anyways, here's R5-D4. Even has some uh, weathering on him, so this must be him from Tatooine. Uh, droids don't dance or move like that, but hey, we can have fun, right? So let's try to get in close. There he is. So like I said, you can kind of see the, the wearing here, kind of the mud, dirt look. It's a rear shot. A rear shot. Out of focus. Focus. All right, while we're focused, we'll just turn it around. A little, little bobblehead action. I noticed this one, there's a bobble head where all the other Funko droids, the springs have been in the legs. So, this is a departure for Funko and a nice one. So, there he is. Nice pop. We'll set him over here. There he goes. Actually, let's get him in view because he wants to see who's next. And it is... I knew it! C-3PO from The Phantom Menace. So, this is naked PO, if you will. There we go. Get him out. 
You know what? I am still not a fan of the Bobble Funkos or the stands for Star Wars Pops. I wish they quit doing it. It's a waste of money. It's a waste of plastic. We just need Pops. We just need Pops. And we don't need their damn heads to bobble around or get ruined with springs. Okay, I'm off my soapbox. So here he is. As promised, C-3PO TPM style. Let's try to get him in for a close-up here. It's looking good. It's looking wiry. Alright, so good looking pop. Yeah. This is what it could have been, people. If he didn't blow his motivator, these two could have been the ones saving the galaxy in episodes 4, 5, and 6. We'll never know. It didn't happen. It's all farcical. We know R2 and C-3PO are champions of Star Wars droids. So, just to recap, we got these two pops. Fantastic. Gotta love two exclusive pops in one box. We got the pin and the patch. And then, of course, the shirt. Yep, that's it. See? Nothing else. It's empty. Hello! Alright, so um, overall, two thumbs up. As I mentioned before, I'll say it again. Anytime we get two pops in one of these uh, Funko exclusive boxes, either the Marvel, the Star Wars, the DC, it's a win. Win, win, win. Alright, catch you next time. We got some more SDCC Funko Pop exclusive videos on the docket. So we're trying to get more of the toy content out again. You never know. Things get busy here at EBHQ. So don't forget, entertainmentboo.com on a daily basis. You got to become a better geek one post at a time, and we will help you do that. And then Instagram.com, you can follow me at Haywood Pop. Word, word. Entertainmentboo.com.